was drawn into this subject matter like two years ago um, when I read in the newspaper that the Magdalena River was being diverted in order to construct El Quimbo Dam. I lived for three years of my teenage on the riverbank, on a town in the riverbank. And I just couldn't believe that such a powerful force of nature could be diverted. But it's actually that the, the news was about how the river had um, cut the plans for rerouting it. It was kind of nature claiming its, its way. And this struck me a lot and that's how I started this project. My own experience of the River Magdalena, why I feel I am also affected by the construction of this dam. And so I do a voiceover both in Spanish and in English, that are both my languages and it's a whispering voiceover to kind of devoid that voiceover of any authority and kind of tell a very intimate story, a very personal story. The river is the fluid connection between ecosystems, between times past. It's a satellite image of the construction of the El Quimbo Dam in Colombia. It's a satellite image from February 2013 that is split in two. So one half is on one mound on Earth, and you can see the huge damage in the landscape that the construction of the dam is produced and the other half of the image you can see the landscape that is not that altered so they they, are, they contrast and they're very contrasting Mohana is the spirit of water. It's a folkloric spirit in Colombia. It's the spirit of water. It's a female spirit. It's a trick, trickster spirit. It's a playful spirit. It's not either bad or good. Sometimes she likes to play tricks. And during the performance, uh, we perform a call and response chant invoking the Mohana to come and be present amongst us during the performance and to kind of set a ritualistic tone. This dam is stopping the flow of a body of water, right? The river as a body of water. But the dam itself is also a body. It's an alien body that's being constructed in the landscape. It's, a, it's an alien body that is dehumanizing the landscape. That speak about not only physical control or physical repression, but also legal and psychological repression. So for example, when we perform you know, like with our necks, that first set of movements that we're like manipulating our face and our neck. We're talking about asphyxia. Like that's the first thing you do when you self-control or self-restrain, is that you don't speak up, you shut up. So that first set of movements speaks about this kind of psychological level of social control.
dedicate this night to Nelson Giraldo Posada, who was shot to death and his throat slit on September 17, 2013. He was a leader of the group Rios Vivos from Antioquia.